I'm very excited to tell our audiences that we have with us K. Sivan. He is someone who was the chairman of ISRO during Chandrayaan 2, very importantly. He's someone, sir, that we're so excited to have with us here on the show this morning. Sir, thank you for joining us here on CNN News 18. Sir, can I ask you, can you just in layman's terms really break down for our audiences? We've just heard what the kind of experiments are that are going to be conducted on the lunar surface. But what are the long-term hopes, sir, out of Chandrayaan 3? Uh, yes, uh, there are a lot of scientific instruments are there to understand that uh, geology of the moon and including water molecules, everything. So, different uh, such type of things are available. I mean, uh, the plan to be done. So, tell us, there's this question that's been asked again and again, uh, you know, that one day we might be looking at habitation on the moon, but that, that's still a far away dream. So, what are the steps to get there? You're saying water and uh, water molecules were discovered, we know with Chandrayaan 1, but what are the steps on the way to that one day dream? No, oh, that, uh, that uh, habitation of the moon is uh, coming uh, only when that uh, water is available. So that way, this uh, the, the search for such type of things are there in the track mode. So that's what they are trying to find out any other uh, minerals and geological parameters or those things are being, uh, that uh, will be doing science on that. Hmm. Can you also tell our audiences, sir, we keep telling our audiences that the lunar south pole is particularly hard to land on. Why is that? That's because that is, uh, it is, uh, the terrain is not that uh, very smooth. It is even compared to that uh, equatorial region. Polar regions are having a more uh, rough space, sandy, like that. Hmm. So that way it is uh, more uh, difficult to land. Hmm. This one. Okay, sir, and, and, and one more question for you. I know the, the big challenge was whether or not the soft landing would take place smoothly. We know it did. Sir, now tell us, are there any big questions, big challenges that remain in the minds of ISRO scientists with this mission? No, that uh, whatever we are doing for every activity was uh, having challenges only. It is nothing uh, built, this hmm. one. Hmm. Okay, everything is having that uh, uh, that the uh, challenges are there everywhere, hmm. and uh, so that way, uh, different kind. This one, hmm. so we cannot say this is the only challenge. Mission it is not this one. Hmm. Okay, sir, and, and one last question for you, sir. Uh, we know that now India is one of four countries that's landed on the moon, but that's just a number we've told our audiences. Can you explain to our audiences what the actual impact of this achievement will be on India's space program and the opportunities available for young Indian scientists who are studying to become space studiers, to one day become astronauts even perhaps? Yes, uh, by this process, India has acquired a, a, a new technology. Okay. And uh, also that is a uh, very complex technology we acquired. So what I would suggest to that uh, young youngsters, young generation in India. So don't look at the, the fancy of landing alone, but look at the, the complexity and the, the scientific uh, background with that one. So you inculcate that scientific number. So there are many such, uh, not only space area, there are many areas we can contribute. So, take that uh, lesson from this and uh, try to do the scientific number and the scientific development so that uh, bring the country to the forefront. This one. All right, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. It's such an right. honor to have you, Dr. Sivan, on the show uh, this morning. All right, we're going to head into a very short break.